Hello and welcome. This lesson will hopefully help you to understand what a public key infrastructure is and how it works as presented in the ISC squared common body of knowledge for the CISSP exam. If this video is difficult to understand, you may need to get familiar with some of the basic terminology used in Domain 3. However, I'll try to explain this in the simplest fashion possible. To review, you should understand how HTTPS works. You can see this example explained in detail in my video on asymmetric cryptography. Our friend Alice wants to log into her bank, so her browser contacts the bank's website, who then gives her the public key, which her browser uses to wrap a new symmetric key in. The bank uses its private key to unlock the new wrapped symmetric key, after which the two <coughs> can communicate securely. So what is PKI and why do we need it? PKI is a collection of entities, software, protocols, and communications in order to manage and use public key cryptography. What's the purpose of PKI? The purpose of PKI is to help publish the keys and certificates is to certify and validate public key ownership, to validate the public keys, and to provide all the services of cryptography. Here is an illustration of how it works with an example previously given. When Alice's browser contacts her bank before the public key is sent to Alice, the bank had requested a digital certificate from what is called a registration authority. The registration authority establishes the certificate and verifies the accuracy of information within it and sends it along to the certificate authority. When Alice receives the bank's public key, her browser verifies the certificate with the certificate authority. She does this to confirm that the public key belongs to the bank. At this point, Alice feels confident that she can use the bank's public key to wrap or encrypt her new symmetric key. So remember that the digital certificate contains the bank's public key and she's going to wrap the new symmetric key within the public key. The registration authority is the entity or server that establishes and verifies the accuracy of information in the certificate. It provides registration certificate registration services. It verifies the identity of entities requesting certificates and it verifies the accuracy of information in a certificate request. A digital certificate is an electronic document containing the business name and address of the certificate holder. It also contains the digital signature of the certificate authority and the entities or the cert holders public key, serial number, and expiration date. The Certificate Authority issues and revokes digital certificates. The revocation can be done through an Online Certificate Status Protocol, or OCSP, or a Certification Revocation List. And the Certificate Authority manages the certificates. The X.509 version 3 is the current standard used for digital signatures, or cer certificates. As mentioned before, it contains the algorithm, used for the Certificate Authority's digital signature, name of the Certificate Authority, the name of the owner of the public key, and the digital signature of the Certificate Authority, along with some other information that you can look up. Once again, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. Have a great day.